Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. So today I wanted to show you how to record your screen if you're on Mac. Um, so it's pretty simple. It's using software called Open Broadcaster Software. Um, three good things about it. I'll show you the website here. Here it is. Um, links in the description, by the way, so you can download it for yourself. Three good things about it. One, it's multi-platform, so it works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Two, it's open source. And three, it is completely free and not just a seven day period uh, trial. It's completely, completely free. So that's super sick. Um, so all you wanna do is click OS X download here and then it should start for you. But I'm gonna cancel because I don't wanna mess up my current recording. Um, but yeah, we'll just get straight into it and I'll show you the software itself. So here it is guys. Uh, this is OBS. Uh, it should look pretty similar to this when you first install it. So yeah, if you just installed it, open yours up and uh, follow along and I'll show you exactly how to use it to record. So first of all, if yours is white and you'd like to turn it to black, just go into settings here, go to theme, and you can change it to dark or default. I prefer default, or sorry, dark, <laughs> uh, just because it's a lot nicer times like this when it's dark in my room and just, you know, bright screens get in the way a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So first what you wanna do is if there isn't a scene there already, you wanna create a new scene. So you just click okay. I'm not gonna do it because it'll, again, mess up my recording. Uh, and then once you've created that under sources, you wanna go add display capture and click okay. And once you click okay, this box will come up here and you can choose which display to capture. So if I click it, I can capture my, um, Mac display and that's not Minecraft. We're just gonna scroll down there. <laughs> um, continuing on, uh, you can just go back to display number one, my ultra wide, and click OK. So whatever display you wanna capture, you can choose it right there. And then you obviously have your mic monitor. Um, but yeah, moving on to settings, which is very important because at this point you could theoretically just start recording, but the settings might not be perfectly tuned for what you're doing. So. I'm gonna show you the settings I use and you can copy them if you would like. Uh, do keep in mind though, my Mac is here are my specs here. Um, the 2.2 gigahertz Intel i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. So if yours is higher than that, uh, then go ahead and crank up the settings a little bit more. Otherwise, I would stay the same or if it is a lot lower than this, I would go a little bit lower on a few settings, but I will mention which of those to change. All right. So in stream, we can just leave it default. General, you can leave it pretty much default. Uh, but if you are really worried, you can copy my settings here. Under output, uh, copy these settings, um, but I'm gonna go for the ones that are important. Uh, so for recording path, this is just where the file will dump after it's been recorded. Um, so I just have mine go to movies. Um, yeah, recording quality, I go for indistinguishable quality, uh, which results in a large file size. Not the biggest quality, there's lossless as well, which I don't really ever use. I don't think I've ever used lossless. Indistinguishable is great. <laughs> um, and yeah, as for recording format, it should be set to FOV by default. So I would definitely come in here and change it to MP4 because FOV is a pain in the butt to change around. So MP4 is preferable because it's accepted by pretty much every program out there. Uh, so yeah, as for encoder, you just go to software x264 and for this screen, you should be fine. All you gotta do is click apply and then continue to audio. So for sample rate, uh, just keep this default, whatever it is when you install the software, that should be fine. If you do notice your mic being extremely quiet, change it to the alternative and test that out. Um, but if you do know um, what sample rate you're recording at, so for example, my Zoom H1 here, H4N, is recording at 44.1, so I match that up on my recording software. Uh, channel, stereo, but again, that depends on the mic. But just to be safe, stereo is usually what you'd use. Um, then for mic auxiliary audio, audio device, just use whatever mic you're using. So I'm using the H4, or it's my mic going into the H4, so that's what I select here. Then for video, uh, basically you just wanna set it to whatever the screen resolution of your monitor is. So mine is 2560 by 1080, so that is what I have. If you wanna find out what your resolution is, you can go about this Mac to displays, and it, excuse me, and it all pops up right there. So that's super, super, super simple. Um, continuing, if you do have a slightly lower powered PC or Mac, <laughs> excuse me, uh, you can scale the resolution down to 720p rather than 1080. So it looks really good and sharp on YouTube still, but it's just slightly uh, smaller file size and um, 
yeah, recording demand. So downscale filter, I'm using BioCubic. I would recommend that as well. And for my FPS, I am using 30. As for hotkeys, I haven't played around with these yet, but you know, for example, if you wanna have a mute hotkey when your mom comes in and tell you tells you that dinner's ready, that might be very good, especially if you're a streamer. Um, but yeah, and then as for advanced, I don't think I've changed anything here, but just in case, compare mine to yours so you guys can make sure you're in the right spot. Um, but yeah, guys, that is how to get started with OBS. From there, all you have to do is click start recording. Um, have a look at the recording, see how it looks, and if you're happy with it, you're ready to go. Record some gameplay, record some tutorials, record whatever you want. Super simple, completely free. OBS is amazing. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you, and I will see you next week.